in order to control what conversations our computer has, we first need to identify the programs or processes that are responsible for initiating these connections. This is what you will be learning how to do next. Again, open C ports. This time, we'll be paying attention to two additional columns. The first column, i.e. process name, and an additional column, which is the remote host name. The remote host name works in partnership with the remote IP address. That is, when you visit google.com or facebook.com, these are actually easy to remember names for the user for IP addresses that look like this. So for all intents and purposes, the remote IP address is the same as the remote host name. However, as humans, it may be easier for us to remember a web address like facebook.com or google.com instead of a group of numbers like this that we would need to type in to an address bar. In terms of the process name column, this column allows us to identify the programs that are initiating the various connections. So here we can see the process ISE SRV.exe is responsible for a large amount of outgoing traffic to this external IP address, which is also the same as this web address. However, simply looking at this web address, we cannot tell who this third party is. It doesn't look familiar as maybe addresses like Google or Facebook or Twitter. However, we can find out. To do this, we make use of Windows built-in task manager. Again, right click on an empty spot on the taskbar, select task manager. This time we select details. And what we're doing here is we're going to look for the process name that we found in Seaports in task manager. So for ease you can sort the column in alphabetical order. I've done so. As we scroll down to I we quickly identify that process. Now to get further details on the process we right click once again and this time we go to properties. And here we see the process or application is located in Program Files, Komodo. This gives us an immediate hint as to the source or the program responsible for starting this process. It's Komodo, the application we downloaded as part of our prerequisites. Another way to verify that this is actually a process that is associated with Komodo, we can copy the remote host address. Head to Google. And this time, I would like you to visit this address, who is dot domain tools dot com. The address will also be provided in the resource section. Now paste the remote address you just copied into the search bar and click search.
a quick scan of the details quickly shows that this IP address is indeed associated with the Komodo group. We found the source of the conversation and the parties that are involved. This is the foundation of identifying who your computer is speaking with. 